So this might be the most important video that you see today, maybe even this week. And it has to do with two schools of thought that you may not even know that you're using. See, we collectively have an issue with the way that we look at the world, the universe, and even ourselves. Uh, objectively an issue, not subjectively, if I may be so bold. <sighs> All right. I'll cut to the chase. Our two primary ways to live and reason through our existence are by using science and or by using religion. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I'll explain a bit more so you can see exactly what I mean here. A scientific mindset can do amazing things like explain to me why this camera I'm using works, or how to measure the exact distance to Jupiter, or even how much coffee I'm physically able to drink before I shit myself. Oh no. Okay. But what if I want to feel more confident in myself, or I can't figure out why I haven't been able to build that meaningful relationship with a boyfriend or girlfriend yet? Yeah, science may provide answers along the lines of making yourself a more biologically attractive mate by getting ripped or becoming financially successful and having a bunch of nice things. Okay, so let's hold on to these solutions as ones offered by a sciencey kind of mind. What about religion, you might say? What answers does that give me? I think another example is in order. Okay, a religious mindset can also do wonderful things, like warn about the perils of obsessing over material wealth, or explain how to live a virtuous life, or why you should contribute to your community and treat other people with tolerance and respect. But what if there comes a time when you begin searching for your individual purpose in life or feel a desire to follow a different path than your parents? Maybe you are just not sure you want to submit to the pressure to get married. Sit it down and raise your children. Okay, so consider this. In both cases, the answers are totally correct. Didn't expect that, right? But they're not correct for everyone. My whole point here is that there's a whole category of us that might instead come to other conclusions for themselves if they just knew that they had another option, another school of thought to choose from that may feel more natural. However, without even knowing about this third choice, those individuals might instead be dooming themselves to an unsatisfying life by settling for living by an example given to them in a magazine or just living the way their parents lived. So, drum roll, please. What if, if I told you there is a middle ground between scientific thought and religious thought? The bold strategy, Cotton. A space literally, exclusively, for helping you find the answers to things the other two just don't really answer for everyone. Abstract things like overcoming feelings of fear or loneliness or how to be more courageous, content, or confident. You know, like that kind of stuff. The answer is a school of thought we call mysticism. You'll just have to trust me on this one for now because the evidence takes a bit to unpack and you have to want to see it for yourself. So if you want to know more, click here for the third option you didn't know that you had. And remember, you stay weird out there.